This is a uh, beta strep throat culture from a five-year-old girl who is suffering from a sore throat. Uh, when I say beta strep on a throat, that means streptococcus pyogenes, otherwise known as group A strep. And on this particular culture, one, usually just one plate is set up. We are using just a 5% sheep blood plate, but there <clears throat> also exists a specific plate for uh, group A strep. Um, but we're just going to go ahead with our 5% here. All right, so this particular culture was set up yesterday, so it's incubated for 18 to 24 hours. Uh, beta strep group A is one of those organisms that uh, tends to like to grow better in a uh, anaerobic, slightly anaerobic environment, meaning a higher percent of CO2. Uh, so this was uh, incubated in a CO2 incubator. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So really what we're looking for on this culture is, um, okay, it's going to, I mean, first of all, it's going to have normal flora, right? Because it's taken by swab from the back of the throat. And uh, so you're customarily, you're, you're almost always going to find normal flora here. And I can't do it here, but basically what I would do is I would tilt the plate and, with, and I would make sure that there's a light source, some kind of light source coming from behind. And I would just simply look for beta hemolytic colonies. And if I found any beta hemolytic colonies, then I would go ahead and work those up. Now, I'm not going to talk about workups as far as identification goes. That's something else. Right now, I'm just working on reading plates. So, uh, on, the, on this particular culture, I don't see any beta hemolytic colonies. Now, these types of cultures usually are held for two days or 48 hours. So, at this point, all I'm going to do is, say, uh, make a preliminary report of moderate normal oral flora, no beta strep present, and this will go back in the incubator for another 24 hours.